not charge in US dollars. So whichever pharmacy is found, the found <coughs> flouting that law, you know, naturally they will face the consequences. The law is very clear. Um, so we advise everybody who is a pharmacist, who is a pharmacy, not to charge in US dollars. That's the first thing. In terms of the, the uh, pledges from the Indian Vice President, yes, we had an initial donation last month where some drugs were donated as part of that pledge from the Indian Vice President. And we were advised by the Indian High Commissioner that another $2 million worth of uh, drugs are also going to be uh, coming to Zimbabwe and he will hand over them to us. Uh, we hand over those drugs to us. So the, they are living to their pledge, which is uh, very good. At the same time, other interventions that we are applying in order to ensure that uh, we continue having a good supply of medicines, you know, is the fact that we now want to buy direct from the source. You know, we are going to be doing away with this issue of third parties. Because the local agents they end up, you know, increasing the prices. You know, the prices are unmanageable. You know, just too high. You know, the next issue is that, in the same light, where we don't have to go to India to buy the products, we want to bring the Indian manufacturers into Zimbabwe and create bonded warehouses. That will help us to be able to immediately access product instead of having to wait for three months under a normal tender. In a way, if we go to tender, you know, the Indian company will only start manufacturing the products after the US dollar has hit their account in India. And we have to wait for another two, three months. So that delay, we're going to kill it by ensuring that we invite them to come and set up their bonded warehouses locally here in Zimbabwe. And it will speed up the whole process. So besides the bonded warehouses, we are going to utilize what's called toll manufacturing, which means we go to a local manufacturer like Plus5, Datlabs, Caps, <coughs> we know exactly what it is they can produce from the equipment that they have. We choose a line of essential medicines and we buy the active ingredients for them from China or from India. And then they manufacture locally for us. It will be cheaper and again it will be faster. You know, so we cannot wait for one modality. We shall utilize various modalities in order to ensure that our stock levels are well maintained. We continue receiving people, companies, investors who want to buy medicines for us on a loan facility, you know, and that is being cleared by the Minister of Finance. You know, so that's another avenue which uh, we find you know, will also be very useful. There are investors in medical uh, uh, sundries, in uh, medicines themselves, and we want to take advantage of their offers. Uh, the issue of donors remains primary and of essence to us. You know, we get a lot of support from the donor partner, uh, from the donor partners, and we continue uh, working with them and making sure that uh, they refer, I mean, they resupply our stocks and ensure that our stocks are at the correct levels. So I think uh, those are the strategies that we have, you know, in order to ensure that uh, we... For these and other stories, visit our website, www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter, at 263chat, and like our Facebook page, 263chat.